Nadia Petrova about to serve. She's got leggings on, which is probably a very good idea. And maybe the issue with Vanya King is not strapping, but it's getting her logo attached. Boy, the trainers have to do it all, don't they? <laughs> Safety pins out there. And sometimes they have to do what they have to do under time pressure that we've seen in this U.S. Open. You have three minutes to tape that thigh or tape that knee. But never really good to have your warm-up and then have such a long interruption. I mean, uh, uh, in the singles, every time that Venus Williams has come on court, she's had a warm-up, and then she's disappeared. And she disappears for precisely, I would say, 10 or 15 seconds, and so I can't imagine what she does. So either the sign was too big, or that seems to be what the issue was. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So Petrova to serve. Nadia Petrova one to team serve. in black, one team in white. Oh, she just missed it, but Fedova has been so good at uh, poaching, at intercepting, and uh, making some really sort of pretty fancy volleys. Been impressed. She made me a little nervous. I mean, she has not been in any situation such as this before, except for the Wimbledon final. That was pretty powerful from Vanya King. I think the, uh, the mood on both sides is end the points quickly, right? That's an interesting question. I think the mood it always is to try to not make any errors in doubles, play some percentage tennis, which would be the cross-court return of the opposing servers coming in to get the ball at their net, but if, uh, at their feet. But if they're staying back, then you want to mix it up a bit. Now, <laughs> now I, I guess everybody always tries to win the point as quickly as they can, but sometimes you better to be a little bit patient. And in doubles, if you have the teams that work yep. well together where one sets the point up with heavy shots and the other one can take advantage of that and uh, put away the setup, that is the best uh, strategy. So in other words, Shvedeva might not in this case Go for a direct, uh, try to win the point I direct you, or try and keep the ball in and work the rally out. She didn't have to do it. They are hitting the ball hard, 30 all. It's always a strategy between the players who are serving to know where the serve is going to serve. So that the person at the net can have their eyes forward and know whether the return's coming from the forehand or the backhand or into from the body of the returner. Yeah. 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 Trova holds one love. And you can very, they're both almost in the middle of the court, so they have to know which way to oh. to go off to the sides. <laughs> that is really good. What makes a good doubles team? Obviously, these two teams were were the right pick. They've they've sought out each other, and they've had a lot of early success. Well, I mean, it takes a little while. Basically, you also have to play with somebody. If you prefer playing from the left court, you have to play with somebody who prefers playing from the right court. Most players can play from either side of the, the left or the right, the deuce or the ad court, but they begin to play from one and prefer it. And, you know, if you get a lefty and a righty, you know, again, this, uh, should the lefty always be in the left court? Or should you have two forehands down the middle? So there are, there are a lot of variations. 15 off. There's almost no win. Just 
missing. So I think 15, yeah, 15, 15, one of the things you're looking for in a partner is somebody who has a pretty big serve. But that isn't always uh, the deciding factor either. But some players are just fantastic at uh, understanding doubles and using the angles well. Oh. Slightly nervous start from Schwedeva. Double fault to go to 15-40. And then you hear it all the time in sports. There are some players, no matter what the sport, that are just good teammates. They know when to give, they know when to take, they know when to say something, they know when to shut up. Yeah, there, there are a lot of the best doubles players who have done just better in doubles than singles for precisely that reason. Whoa, perfect. Just a Good luck, right in the line. Saves a break point. But there definitely are players who either, uh, sometimes the players who specialize in doubles have been ter very talented, but maybe not that quick on the court. Or maybe just needing a little moral support. Huber and Petrova have a two love lead. In their previous match, Federer and King had to go down the line quite often because Carol Black was intercepting. Huber understanding exactly what they were trying to do there, and she was more than ready. Huber to King. Serving as the number one ranked woman in doubles tennis. These are the best two of 64 teams that began the women's doubles draw. Particular teams have not ever played each other. Oh, and relatively easy miss from Petrova. Maybe she's, she has a very good volley, but maybe just not quite as quick with her hand. She likes to get set up, so not quite as quick at the net as you have to be for doubles. But they did play, uh, King and Schwedeva did play against Huber with Magic Sands twice this year. And the first time they lost to them, and the next time they beat them. Oh, Huber giving them a little opening here. First service game always can be a little bit shaky. Just haven't got quite warmed up. That's out. Well, what a, another good lot. Getting over Petrova. Petrova is 5'11", uh, and a bit as is Liesl Huber. And a good court coverage by Liesl there. Chance to break right back. Huber, in a way, Virginia, she's playing with house money. She already has a U.S. Open title here with Bob Bryan in the mixed doubles. That's right. Well, I can tell you she really wants to win a second one. She's won four Grand Slam and doubles. Won the U.S. Open two years ago. But again, a little help doing the damage. 
very good point until the last shot. And they break right back. So the women's doubles final continues now. We're back on serve. King and Shvedova to Hubert Petrova, 1-2. We've got our little conference call, and we're good to go. And essentially, this is a $200,000 match. Petrova, who is a little bit slow off the mark today, as yet. Consistent. Only being five foot five. What a good. Good. good, neat volley. How well did she get out of the way to hit that? Being only five foot five, it, I think it limits her just that bit in her singles play because she's, she sure plays the, hits the ball well and plays well in singles also. But it's tough when you're playing people who are half a foot a taller than you. Yeah, but I don't trust short people because their entire life they've been told they can't do this, they can't do that, and they, they overcome. Yeah, right. Take on the world. Oh. Nice touch. Yeah, and Zvedova just beginning to show us some of uh, the mm -hmm. multiple skills she has. Boy, she has been impressive in the doubles. And anyways, those good lobs and now a little touch volley. One of the players who is so good when she's hitting the ball well, you can't touch it, but she can get a little late on her shots and she doesn't seem to have uh, a margin of error when she's in trouble to, to keep control of the ball. Let's see if it carries over to her serve. Two all. Good feeling. Miroslava Shvedova, she's 5'11", 23 years old, born in Moscow. I think she still lives in Moscow, but somehow she changed her nationality to Kazakhstan, and uh, I guess there's so many Russian players. How many perfect laps has she hit already in this match? So Shvedova changed her nationality to Kazakhstan and has represented uh, that country in the Fed Cup. I guess she felt there were a million Russian players out there. She'd have more chance to represent a country if she changed her country. She still lives in Moscow. Rupert can hit in her sleep. Perfect timing on the intercept. started off at 95 degrees and humidity and wind. And now I'm sitting here next to a Grand Slam champion in a sweater. Yeah. Figure I, it out. Unbelievable. And I'm just looking down there and seeing the skirts blowing around again. There's just self-preservation there. I think that one was meaning. It looked as if it came straight through the line. Not that one. Kicking up a little bit. Yeah, it's a shame if they get interruptions today. I mean, it's one of those cloudy days that could just produce the odd drizzle. Well, they're back on track. That was a good 
Good play by Petrova because they were just a, a moment away from a break point, but instead they close it out. 3 2, first set. King and Shvedova, the Wimbledon champions, will serve 2 3 on serving the first set. I'm Al Troutwig along with Virginia Wade. We are live in New York City. What a shot. Absolutely tremendous backhand return. She had her throwing in a sort of careful first serve. She dropped her opening service game, including one double fault in that game. And that was a short serve, so she's got a good serve. It was a big serve, but it wasn't deep enough. So but it, there's got to be a conference here deciding where to hit her serve. Second serve, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. Wide and I think she's actually got to serve out wide to Huber a, a little bit, even though Huber was ready for that. But when Huber gets around her backhand around the middle of the court, she really hits her forehand well. Get it a bit further away from her. Huber's staying back on this point. If there's a first serve in, which there isn't. who's just looks uh, a little bit cold still. I mean, she's missing shots. She hasn't really found her rhythm as yet, making some good shots, but not enough. That probably is her as a doubles player, maybe not quite um, no, no, no. able to soften up her hands and hit the percentage shot when she needs to. Travis is sort of player who would break a walnut with a hammer rather than squash two together in a hand and gently break them. <laughs> Great point. Uh, this could be one of those turning points in the match. It seems that Hoover is playing pretty well, so I think this team here have to play on Petrova a little bit. Now you see, I wouldn't have thought that was a good play at all, actually. It was a pretty decent return from Petrova, but I think Shvedova should have uh, gone back at her feet when she came into the net. So she's tried Huber's uh, alley a couple of times and got nothing from it. So second service break. Let's see if they can get this one to stand up. The world's number one serving. She's going to pick on Petrova. Yeah, Virginia, it's important to recognize when one of your two opponents is not playing that well. Get the ball to her. Well, yeah, definitely, because, you know, sooner or later they're going to probably find their form.
Shvedova yeah. played the deep angle. This is Huber's eighth doubles final of the year and the 72nd of her career. Yeah, she's old. And the doubles. Trova is a very successful doubles player, too. Oh, but you, you can just see Huber is really connecting well with the ball, you know, it's having also won the mix start here. He's got to give her that extra bit of confidence, and she's come out uh, as hot as she could be. Trova reluctant to go for that. Trova's actually won 19 titles herself. Nope. You know, Virginia yeah, always yeah, talked yeah. about herself. Petrova hasn't done this, and Petrova hasn't done that. But here they are in a great position in the set, and that tells you how well Huber is playing. Yeah, Huber, Huber is very good because sometimes she starts a little slowly. I've seen her play a few matches with Kara Black where she's the one who throws in the odd double fault and, and misses a few returns and finally finds it. You just have to be patient with yourself sometimes in double. She's coached by her husband. I always find that an interesting dynamic on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Again, they may be playing Huber a little bit Fresh too much. Mm -hmm. But keep Petrova cold. Don't let her get into it. One year, 2004, Petrova played with uh, Shaughnessy, and she won seven tournaments that year, including the end of year championship. Hadn't won any grand slams and doubles. Chance to break right back. So maybe that's. Uh, Biggest issue for Petrova. First chance of winning a Grand Slam women's doubles title, and the others have all won. One at least. <laughs> that time Petrova handled all of it. And she's tall, Huber, so. Although she lets the ball drop quite a lot, she still reaches up well for her serve. It's slightly awkward at the back, her serve, but I like the hitting s the spot. It's good. It's full extension. Two seconds, sir. As we say that, she throws in a double fold. She threw in one double fault in her first service game, and she can do that. In her serve, the second serve can let her down. <laughs> right on the line, that one. It was actually a good move by Petrova. She went across the net, which uh, made uh, Shredder take her eye off the ball. So important to ignore the person at the net when they're jumping around. That's a big point here. By the way, can I borrow your English accent at some point during the match? <laughs> just, just, I have always loved it. Do it. Just for a game. I'm sure you can speak English. Wow. Better? Yes. But Trevor trying to get into the game a little bit more. The body language says it, uh, I should have had that. Uh, okay, we're back to that key point that could turn this set and flip it. Hurt just watching them get down for those squat positions and doubles. They're young, they can handle it.
just had to end with an error. What a terrific point. That was fun stuff. Saves all over the place, and Petrova came through with a few important volleys. 5-2 there in control in the first set. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what King and Shredova can do here down 2-5 in the opening set of the women's doubles final. if it's uh, in because uh, Vanya King hit that ball very well and I thought she hit it the right place. I think she's playing again. I think they've been playing Huber a little bit too much. Good ball. It's miles out. You know what? If it, if it wasn't new balls, it would have been fuzzier. It would have been good. Two challenges remaining. Petrova had a rather dismal showing in the women's singles here. She was one of the first seeds to go out. Also in the opening round to Andrea Petkovic from Germany, who's a good young player. He's who came through quite a bit and was finally demolished by Zvonareva. The taste of her own medicine last night. <laughs> Great move. <laughs> I like the way Schwedeker plays. She gets going. I, mean, I, I think she's shown us some great shots already in this match with those amazing lobs, but she has some fabulous angle volleys too. So that really became volley time. Picking up the power, aren't they? The two big hitters in black. Chat here. These uh, two are returning well, so yeah, good serves. Now it is 
Kelly can just uh, hit it. She hits the ball so well, but she hasn't managed to keep the ball quite low enough when she's on the other side of the net. She's trying to roll it over. But you still have to keep it very low to be effective. Set six games to two, Uber and Petrova over King and Shvedova at Arthur Ashe Stadium. King and Shvedova just together, they need to change something up. What do they need to do better? Well, uh, I think they uh, should try to exploit Petrova a little bit, but by that, they've got to keep the ball low to her. She's so powerful with anything that comes through hard to her. So I think they've got to try and Give her some junk. But she got better as the set. Which she did. Oh. Look, she's a very good player. She's certainly the most successful singles player of the lot. Pretty decent return off a big serve. Vanya King straight at Huber, and Huber, somebody's moving. It's a good place to hit it straight at them. Decent uh, serve and nothing wrong at all. That over shot is a great shot instead of a. Clever shot, boy, brilliant. Quite a strict disciplinarian thinks that tennis players really have to put in the hours, put in the work, and she herself has done just that. She's lost a lot of weight, really made herself as good a player as she possibly could be, I'm sure. With that husband of hers, coaches her. They have a school in school in Houston, in Texas. Yeah. We have Houston Street here. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Service break to start things off. Miroslava Shvedova was seeded number 30 in the singles tournament and she came up with a poor result. Using to a qualifier for Spain in three sets in the open round. We had plenty of service breaks in the first set. Let's see what happens here. Can they break right back or not? I've actually got to the quarterfinals of the French this year. So she's been a player that everybody's been enjoying lately, you know, fresh, fresh face. She's 
says it was hers. He wasn't kidding. Yeah. She she not good. Good. Put it in the cheap seats. It's always something you enjoy. I mean, she better be going back to her coming out of the Moscow School of Teaching. She's not only got good ground strokes as they all have, but she's got a little bit more variety and she moves very well for a tall girl. What happened to Zvonareva last night? Zvonareva just didn't get in the match. I mean, I thought Kim was incredible because Kim had played this nervous, tight match against uh, Venus Williams the night before. And it was like she'd got it all out of her system then and was just on top gear right from the start. Check, but I think it might have missed that. And uh, Swanarava just didn't ever get into the match. She she was missing balls by 30 inches. That was all, and she just couldn't change it around. There's a lot of look at the mark. You could actually see it. Yeah, they leave a lot of marks on the court. I mean, it's, it's actually the best way of determining. Good serve. 112 miles an hour. Well, after you lose a set like they did, about the best thing that you can do is come out, break a serve, and then win convincingly on your serve. And that is what they are doing here. Another serve at 112 miles an hour. Those are the fastest uh, of the day here. And you know, it's a cold, sort of damp day out there. It takes a little while to get your arm warmed up and doing what it's supposed to do. Schmidt didn't start off serving that like that, that's for sure. No. Is that a good shot? She had to really contain her backswing on that ball because it was so deep, this volley, and you just watch there, and she suddenly has to make the shot in a bit of a hurry and pull her elbow through. What a well-played shot. Jordan misses another in tight volley. Serve was too good from the return down, Vanya King. Sort of a point right out of the textbook. of a little encouragement. <coughs> what Hubert does so well, even though she stays, starts off staying back, giving cross-court forehands. She manages to come in on that shot, this well, this one, and get herself into position at the net. It's not the easiest uh, shot to hit a forehand and be in position. 
she gets that. That's the was long. Yeah, once again, the one straight at her. Team. Maybe she, maybe she, uh, pet driver should take one little mini step yeah, yeah. further back so it gives her a minute to, or oh, a split second to see the ball. She is very close to the net. Yeah, she is. I mean, oh. you know, sometimes the players forget to think about something obvious like that because. Doesn't give you any the serves going in fast and turns coming back really speedily. It worked out great just then. Yeah. <laughs> she did. I, I think she actually did back off a little bit. She was ready for that one. Good volley. Is that a good serve from Huber? She's excited. A nice hold. Two games to one for King and Shred of a second set. Petrova and Huber are thinking one thing. Get that service break back and get it now. And they're off to a good start. First serve, but let's serve two. But it's only serve one, so. Well, to get that ball back. <laughs> this was a bit of a full tilted uh, <laughs> shot right at her, which she managed to dodge quite well, powerless, without anything to defend her. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd was watching the replay along with you. Just uh, good serve. I mean, at least in the women's doubles, they have uh, quite a lot of singles players playing doubles. When he was at Vonareva, she went through to the quarterfinals doubles. Over, Kirilenko. Oh, oh bad luck. <laughs> okay, plot thickens a little bit with a couple of break points. Just after two o'clock in New York City, the lights are on here at Arthur Ashe. When you hit the other person, you're supposed to aim for their knees, not for their elbows. But uh, I, I guess with Trevor's tall girl. I, I still love how the players put their hands up as if to say sorry when they're probably not. Well, you don't, you know, not many players do aim straight for the body, but there are occasions when you need to. Oh, 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 o
was almost a higher body block. That was a great decision to let that ball go long. And now we're back on serve at two all. It's totally legitimate to <coughs> hit straight at uh, somebody generally aiming for the feet. Well, in doubles, you have to expect you're going to get hit, right? Well, you don't expect that you're going to have the ball hit at you. <laughs> you hope that you can get out of the way. You don't expect to get hit. You expect to be quick enough to avoid it. Okay. I mean, I know some, some players who do always hit at the body, at the upper body, and it's, you know, you can get pretty annoyed with them. I remember playing one mixed doubles final years and years and years ago against a very good doubles player, and I knew that he always liked to hit his opponent. So I was waiting for it, and I still got hit three times in the warm-up. In the warm-up? Yeah. So did you hit one at him? Well, what was the point? <laughs> I probably get hit four times. I mean, <laughs> I just, that was his tactic. Oh, the super movement from Vanya King. <laughs> she has. Stretched out a little bit long wise, like a partner. I just love the fact that King and Shvedova look like they're having fun playing. strokes from Petrova. I think, I think that is uh, key. I think that's all about how you're thinking about the match in general. If you're thinking you should be winning it, you're just uh, waiting for the break of serve and then you carry on like they did in the first set. Four straight games to finish the first set. Beautiful serve from Nadia. That's what we're talking about. Two big serves. Petrova and Huber hold its 3-2. Here, although it looked like a pretty good serve to me. So we won't do it again. Visit usopen.org, your exclusive online home for real time scores and stats, daily video highlights, and press conferences, official US Open merchandise, and much more. I to see going back to the discussion about getting a lot of first serves in and maybe taking a little bit off your serve. Look how easy these two points have been for this team. Getting great first serves and 
Warte mal. One, but that was a slightly slower serve. I mean, a good mix up, only 79 miles an hour. Generally, these uh, four are playing fairly traditional doubles today. I mean, I know this is a slightly unorthodox formation, but uh, no need for her to dash and dive. Great service game from Fred of the four. Super serves. She's 23, Fred Did pretty well at the French this year. Just would like to see her gradually stepping up in singles because is such a good player. I'm impressed with her. She's got a bit more than a lot of them. Another double fault for from Huber. And, you know, you look at some of the players who begin to have success in doubles and ha are a little bit later having the same success in singles. Thinking of the Sam Stosas of this world. Well, she might need a little bit more power. I think, you know, I think she's deceptive. I think she's hits the ball very hard. I mean, her serves have been up at 112, so she's got a, she's got a big serve. She's very agile at the net. She moves well, and I think her ground strokes are actually okay. So it must be confidence or something else that's missing when she plays singles. The Brisbane's in trouble. Oh. It's like a tight serve there. Let's see. Real, real tension on this game. Lost count of how many successful lobs these two have made over basically the head of Petrova, who's Five foot eleven, but we have pointed out, Al, haven't we, that she tends to stand in a little bit too close in my mind to the net. She made that one, but it's a it, she makes it hard for herself. I think of taking maybe one step back to begin, and then as soon as the ball's in play, you move forward to hit the ball. disappointed that she had to do all the work herself there. Service break. The big question now is can Uber and Petrova break back as they have already in this match. We see from King and Shredova. First serve is a big, big deal. Lost to serve twice in this match. <laughs> error. Just a little ahead of that ball, Vanny King was. This is good, and that one's a good one. Good reaction from Petrova, but when you're so anxious to hit that ball, she was a little ahead of it. It's always annoying shots to lose when you've got a high body. Yeah. Let's hit her teammate. Yeah. Amazing it doesn't happen more with that formation. Yeah. So that's yeah. where Petrov is so good. Just clobbers the return of serve. They've definitely got the building block for a break back here. Club 30. Oh. 
Virginia, why would they both drop back so so deep, Petrova and uh, Hubert, well, on the serve? Very often, uh, you start off at the back, and you can see Hubert's not all the way back. But if uh, Vanya serves a really good serve and your partner sort of pops up a defensive return, you can't help it when you ride up at the net. She took her eye off that ball, Petrova. won 19 doubles titles and won the end of year championships. He's never won a Grand Slam doubles title. Oh, bad luck. It's all getting a little tense. That was 30 all points. She's good, fed of her on the touch volleys, but maybe you have a hesitation in your mind on such a big point to try something that difficult. It does feel like nerves are a part of this game. Money at stake. 420 grand between the team. Ah! Petrov was the one who makes the mistake. A great point. to the unforced errors. Partner says I'll hit a really good serve. I won't go for too much pace, but I'll place it right in the corner, and then you just snip over and angle it off. <laughs> just like they drew it up. Yeah. Three games in a row. The King and Shredeva. Definitely not been the most consistent player out here today. And it's good. That is phenomenal. That is a really superb love about the tenth time. Pretty decent volley. Ball is really finding Petrova now. <laughs> quick hands when the king has. Quick hands and quick feet. We see the one weakness of Shredova a little bit inconsistent. Good eyes by Petrova.
out. This team light has managed to keep Hoover out of it. Bit, and they're picking on, uh, on Petrova. Took them a little while to figure that out. Nothing they can do about a big serve, though. I think Hooper and Petrova want to do. They want to force Shredder and King to serve to win the set. Give themselves a little boost in the third if that's still required. Yeah, sure. Go, 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 go! Oh! Bunch. Well played, Hoover. Five, four, second set. This is a test for Shredeva. What does she have? What does she got with the set on the line? And a chance to force a third set for the U.S. Open Women's Doubles Championship. First set, she was a little tight on the serve. Most both her service games have been better this set. In fact, the last one serving very well. Tony well, King has had a very good match up in that. Tony well, is very brave in doubles. I mean, she's never afraid to go for things. She really wants the ball. It was a low volley she had to handle, and she tried to angle it off, but they were lucky to get away with that point. Very slow first serve. I mean, 77 miles an hour, that wasn't the problem. It was that it was short. So I think I think Vanya probably is telling her to get, you know, make sure she gets her first serve in, so take a little speed off her, keep it deep. That serve. It was uh, pretty fast, but it wasn't deep enough. Just about right for Petrova. There's a worrisome sign. Raindrops on the camera lens. Yeah, no, we don't want that. Done well so far. I don't think, I don't think they've quite got down to the court level yet. Those raindrops. <laughs> Able to do it. We are a point away from playing three. Oh, that knob has been so successful. Both Vanya and Fedova coming up with perfect knobs. So the gusts of wind blowing pieces. Rappers around. Oh boy. Petrov has been a little bit of a weak link here, and we are going to the third set at the U.S. Open for the Women's Doubles Championship. Okay, we go to a third and final set for the Women's Doubles Championship. Yaroslava Shvedova and Vanya King. And Liesl Huber and Nadia Petrova. Huber's already won the mixed doubles championship with Bob Bryan. And it is Nadia Petrova to serve. Yeah, Huber buries it. 
Yeah, that was an emphatic point from the two of them. But you have to say, wouldn't you, uh, Virginia, that Petrova, if she was on her game, this match would probably be over. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I think she has, uh, although, I don't know, these uh, two are very good. They're very quick, quick hands, quick reactions. Petrova has been serving from uh, the other end. Has to change service ends. That team prefers Petrova to serve first, I guess, whichever end. But uh, sometimes players prefer to stay with the same side they've been serving from. We started seeing some nervous play. Second half of the second set. It'll be interesting to see what we see now. It'll we'll probably be pretty much okay until it gets to a tenth stage of the set. If it gets to four, three, four, or something like that, we'll see some nerves kick in. That was a great service hold for. Petrova and Huber. We were sort of jogging around. But the language always very good. She's very positive. So they're going to stay with their same serving sides, although Vanya has uh, been serving second in the other two sets. And that, that makes a difference. I love how these teams have dressed today. It's so perfect. One side is black, one side is white. Yeah, no, it really helps. I mean, it's sometimes it's very difficult. We're sitting up high in the commentary box and They've all got caps on. You can't see the faces very well. And so is that. Well, that will make her feel a whole <laughs> lot better. This is one solid reflex volley from Nadia Petrova and a very good. Emphatic volley there, and she's going to get a high five from her partner, which she well deserves. Oh dear, that was such a short serve. Trover taken by surprise that it was so short. Didn't move her feet at all. I mean, um, they played fantastically well at Wimbledon. The semi-final was great. Money is very consistent. She just goes up to the baseline, throws the ball up, and it's the same action every time. She doesn't have any yips on her serve. in the court. Still 40 30 up though. Yeah, I think the success in doubles is going to 
and uh, Vanya King a very good stead for her singles. I mean, she didn't have a bad tournament here. She beat Christina McHale in the first round and then finally lost to Hunter Kova, 6-4 in the third, but had chances in that. Petrova having made so many errors has lost the confidence on her body. Oh serving from the scent, she hasn't served from the scent before. When he plays with Cara Black, Cara would always be intercepting that return. And here she's got a partner who's tall, has got a long arm, has got a formidable forehand, and she doesn't want to go anywhere near that volley. Steering well clear. We all know how it is at the net when you don't feel like hitting the ball. Is it you, partner, you take it. Quite the quickest person coming in behind her serve, so she needs a little help from that. Anya King really hit that hard. Just when she she had that a few points ago, she had that unbelievable volley, but there was absolutely no confidence carryover at all. them a set King and Shvedeva to realize that Trevor was a little suspect at the net. Oh. Oh, just too quick. Ball was dropping on Vanya King's side. She was there but she didn't really know what to do with that shot. is one of the nicest people. She's one of the players who always talk and she's quite philosophical. She's very intelligent. <laughs> and another shot that Banya King was in position for, but it was all happening a little bit too quickly for her to be able to make up her mind what to do with the ball. That time Petrova did reach over and get it. It was rather softly hit. 30 all. Play from this team. And forced into playing Huber. And Huber seals the deal. 2-1, third set. So that's moving along to decide who's going to win this U.S. Open Championship. And Arthur Ashe, lights on, sky's still gray, rain in the neighborhood. Yeah. King at the net again. See, see, Huber and King would be a good team, too, because King Virginia really... Virginia, are you doing a little matchmaking? <laughs> see, King really wants the ball. She's nimble out there. Start to get into it. Yes. She came up with some good stuff. Took her head off. Great 
point. And even throwing her racket at it. Can't save it for Petrova. Beautiful point from these two. There's a double hit in the middle from from Huber right there, but you're allowed to do that as long as it's just one swing. It used not to be able to double hit. Gets on your serve. You all. Super. I assume it was Vanya King's box we had looked at uh, a little while ago. Come from California. Monterey Park. So the only other thing about uh, Vanya King is that she's a very good singer and she was out here on stadium court singing America the Beautiful 2006 <laughs> 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 pushed the travel out of the way by the way visiting usopenshop.org is an easy way to get your official 2010 US Open merchandise shop for t-shirts hats towels and more Visit usopenshop.org. Convenient international shipping options are available. Visit usopenshop.org. Sonny's got into a serving hold situation here. A couple of easy games for both teams. Back-to-back -back shutouts. It is now Huber and Petrova 3-2 in the third set. So Fanny King has served well so far in this set, in the last set. And a good start to this one. Dick is constantly smiling. I love it. She's a really great girl, as you said, but she doesn't, she doesn't smile all that much. But they still seem like a good team. They're yeah. communicating, oh, they're yeah. supportive. Oh, no, she's fantastic. Control. Okay. Oh, wow, what a great effort from Federer and King. And yes, that's it. King family, they are pretty excited too. Wow, that's exciting. Full blooded shots from Nadia Petrova, absolutely thumping the image of Edeva, and then it's Bunny King straight down the middle. And once again, Petrova, you actually saw in the slow motion, just not wanting to take that volley. Like Huber and Petrova had a brain freeze there for a moment. <laughs> A turn that just didn't work. The last three games have been one to love. The first game was one to love. She's going to go down the tee again. Oh, so close to her head. Well, for once, Petrova got the better in the react reflex volley area. Well done. If you just look where Vedova stands when her partner's serving, compared to what we've said about Petrova, who tends to stand a little bit too close to the net, in my opinion. Oh, well, we can't tell now because she's in an unorthodox position. Out. 
convincing service game. They're all. So who's going to blink first here? I don't know. I think the confidence is pretty high for the pair in white. I agree. Hugo was not 30 on her previous service game, so and she is capable of tossing in the odd error on her server, her second server, I mean. Serve. So much for Well, yeah, no, if she gets first serve, then she's okay. jumping around, trying to get into her head a bit. Come on. I can't get downhearted from these two points. by far the most experienced and successful doubles player out here. So Huber thinks she should stay calm because she's won four Grand Slam titles and doubles and she won mixed here just a couple of days ago. There's one couple of other, well, another mixed Grand Slam title. I think the team in white has allowed Hubert to see a few too many balls in this game. They need to keep picking on Petrova. See, see how close she is in the net. Some advantages, obviously, from being in close, it makes some of the volleys easier, but if they hit right at you, you don't have any time to react. You're vulnerable to the lob. I mean, that one was just far enough away from her. Honey King, maybe just not setting quite hold of the returns in that game. Four, King and Shredema to serve, and it will be Shredema. Shredema's had the most decisions to make on her serve, yes. whether to go for big serves and miss them or roll them in deep. I don't think knows what to do with that. Yeah, I mean, the biggest weapon that Shredema has on her serve is Vanya King at the net because Vanya really wants the ball. to the right. that ball, thinking 50 that Huber was going to cross in the net, and there was Huber just saying, thank you very much, that's just exactly what I wanted. chance for Petrova to show her goods, a second serve and a big point. Yeah. No, she didn't do anything with it, it was a 
Good second serve. Well oh, done to Schroeder. You know, that smile was because she was so relieved she had a good serve. time. Great play. And, uh, really, the crowd getting behind King and Shvedova. Petrova beginning to look a little forlorn out there, but here comes her big booming serve. <laughs> the heads and that is very close a bit close for comfort but Trevor very worried about that Ones that go sailing over my head. Trevor certainly having been solid on her serving games. A couple of bounces there. Oh, this third set has been so different than the first two sets. We have all types of service breaks. Uh, done probably best of everybody only dropped serve once at the beginning of the second set yeah. nice overhead she's got power on the ground strokes it's just a little more versatile than most of the other Russian players, a little more flexible. I like to see her going places. Too good. There you go. And with a charge and run, looking positive. Hitting a solid bunch of solid volleys in that game. King has called out the play. Fully aware that the other team is four points away from it. Ending the match. <laughs> Tatus bundled up. Now look at that weather from up in the sky. I haven't seen any umbrellas. But I've seen some. Oh! <laughs> definitely. Going to hit the ground soon, that mist, rain, whatever it is. Come on. Oh, oh, that little chink, it wasn't a bad idea, that. What a difficult shot to execute, it was so low, and to get over the high part of the net and keep it in. What's happening here? Just gonna test the ground, I think, to see if it's slippery, because immediately there's any sort of drizzle, the lines get slippery Finally. looks as though we are going to have a delay and a delay way deep into the 
this match. The umbrellas are out. This would be really monstrous if we had a long delay now. The final between Vanya King and Shabetova versus Huber and Petrovova. Very unique format. This final is going to be a sprint to the very end. Yesterday, the Women's Devils Championship was played most of it yesterday. Now, Sunny. See, what they do is they take in the old balls for the warm up and they'll bring out the balls that they were using at this point in the match yesterday. They held them over, they'll bring those out, give them to the ball kids, and it really is a massive, almost like a short sprint to the finish line. Yeah, the pressure you would have to guess, I would say, be on King and Shvedova because of the fact that they're serving at love 15, and they know this is a hold to stay in the championship. And in their practice, they practice that way. I mean, they came out and they knew exactly what they want to do. Just like any other sport, you have to have a good plan coming out. And look at the energy right away. Well, they need that energy because Lisa Lubra has enough energy for all four players on the court, and she had been talking at the end of the match yesterday when it was suspended to her partner, Nadia Petrova, really trying to fire up. There were from some loose moments. She didn't want to attack the net. She wasn't moving well, and Uber was right on her saying, come on, move. King to serve. Get Love to the King. net. Do what you have to do and be Play. the strong partner that I chose you for. So King serving. Love 15, 4-5. Oh, and that's a tough miss from Petrova. Remember now, Vanya King is serving into the sun on that oh. side. There isn't a lot of wind right now. Conditions almost perfect, except for King having to be put in this little tough scenario. Love 15, put the serve in, she does. She wins the point. The backhand from King at the feet of the Russian Uber, and she seems to respond to the pressure well, and has to be thought of as quick start tennis. Well, good execution. You don't want to. You don't want to play big. You don't want to play high risk. You want to play good, solid tennis, especially when you're in this situation for King. Work with your partner and win the points. Now this is where Petrova has been very effective off the second serve from King. Petrova is one of the bigger hitters in the game today. communication you can see Huber and Petrova saying mine and yours and that ball went up that's that's textbook championship doubles both players on the other side attacking that net getting the lob they wanted and they finish it two points from the title it would be Nadia Petrova's first ever major title and it would be seven overall for Uber if they can just convert a pair of points but King and Shvedova talk things over as they serve from the due side What an aggressive cross at a huge time. And that's what Uber was asking Petrovi to do all day yesterday. She finally comes up with the goods and it gives him championship points. When you have a player with, uh, that's tentative, that is hit and miss like Petrova, you've got to be supportive and get him on the, on the move. And now you've got your match point. Championship point for the two seeds. Caught the line. Deuce. If what King a point. And Svetova win this match. This was right on the racket of Liesl Huber. She had a ball point blank and could not get enough stick on it. And Svetova was able to deal with some tricky spin and punch it back. Wow. King I mean, that's playing. a U.S. Open win. That, that's the title. That's King playing with very little margin, but she caught the line, so to Deuce.
And now you've got to start pass, looking pass, at how this plays into the mindset of Petrova and Huber because basically they're, they're holding the trophy right now if Huber finishes off that point. Chance to make it five all and extend this third set. What looked like it was going to be quick and out and the title for the two seeds. And the hold. So the pressure on Vanya King is surmountable, and she gets past it, even saving a championship point. But Uber will be thinking about that. Thinking about that, and plus the, the courage for Vanya King, the American, in her own championship here in New York to hit that defining shot down the line that catches the line. And now, truly, we're talking about momentum swings right away. Now you've got to say, King, the steadier returner now, is going to be just jumping on this serve from Huber. Oh, Petrova stepped up her game. I mean, remember, when you have a rain delay situation, you go back off the court in the locker room and in the players' lounge, you can be coached. So there's no doubt there was this plan for Petrova to be more aggressive off the ground stroke from King. And a sense of urgency from Petrova today that she was just a bit lax in getting to the net yesterday first service as you said definitely obviously having been spoke to by uber as well as their coaching staff it's working far more aggressive is the russian Very good volley there, but Third King made a left. tactical error. Right there, your partner makes the return. You've got to do what we've seen from Petrova, intercept that ball. You have got to show that courage and have and be very brave in that point of contact. But she backs up and allows Huber to go cross court with the volley. Now they're in trouble to lose this game. 30 love, Huber. You see Savetova this time. Crosses, takes advantage of the big return. 30, and that's 15. why opposites attract in this game. Power player, control player. This time, the control player sets up the power player. One of the best athletes on the WTA Tour, Savetova, just so much talent. I think you're just about to see her best tennis in her career come up in the next few months. Sense right out of the gates Four, there as yeah. the back. It's full bore straight ahead. He's an Uber. Exclamation after the big overhead. And the return from Bonnie King's racket sails long. She wants to put this service game behind her, put themselves out in front once more because there's really no time for errors. You can't warm yourself up to this. You got to get right to it. And Spedova would be serving next with all the pressure of a Grand Slam championship on her shoulders. volleying at the net from Uber and Petrova, and they lead 6-5 in the third. As King and Shredo again pop out of their chair and head to the baseline. With a big smile on Vanya King's face, and, and that's the key Time. for Vanya King now, because her partner is going to be feeling that weight of pressure, trying to serve to stay in this championship. And all you need to do is loosen up your partner, everything's cool in the gang, we're having fun, let's play to win. Huber made a tactical adjustment for Love. this specific point. Notice the amount of lobs being thrown here to keep King at the net. Keep it high over her head, and eventually this opens up the rest of the point, and her partner puts it away. Oh, yeah, very nice forehand. 
It's working together, the chemistry, how you set up your partner to be the hero is everything in doubles. Shvedova serving at love 15 to stay once again in the match and force a third set tiebreak. Is the top of the net, 50 kicks wide, 15 all. Petrova, the only player on the court currently that doesn't have a single major doubles title. Team and Shvedova only have one each, but they did that at Wimbledon just a couple of weeks back. And of course, Uber, we chronicled 141st week at number one, six major titles in doubles and mixed, and a wealth of experience. Shvedova and King are one of these teams that's very dangerous. They're not ranked that high, 50. but because they got kind of that experience at Wimbledon, they feel bulletproof. And you can see it in the way King approaches this point in the match. She looks calm. She looks like she's smiling, having a good time. And that really translates to the entire team. Pressure of serving to stay 50. in the match doesn't seem to be affecting either King or Shvedova. Perhaps relying on the fact they've won 11 consecutive major matches during that one with a run. And now one away from forcing the tiebreak. And this is where you really want to close out your service game. Get the momentum going into the ultimate tiebreaker in tennis for the U.S. Open title. The only major to have a tiebreaker in the final set. Every other major, you play it out. Here, it is honestly pressure at its highest level in the game of tennis. King, King, Shadow. That was a six game six game game. Game. wasn't it? Off that's the back big, foot. That's, that's a lot of moxie from Shredova to try to go for that shot from the backhand side. Loft it over the. Not exactly diminutive Petrova. Well, Petrova got so close, and this is kind of the high roller play that you roll down in Vegas, and you just get a lot of topspin on it, and it comes in just inside the baseline. Look at it. She falls onto her back foot, but gets the leverage she needs. So Petrova will start off the tie break to decide the championship in women's doubles. <laughs> Shvedova was so lucky to get out of that point. She hit a, a lob volley that just caught the line that reset the entire point because she was on her heels backing up and back, backing up using her reflex volleys. And this is a smart play. Go right down the middle and then let your partner hit the winner. Vanya King to serve after having secured the mini break. Remember, Lisa Huber had a match point on her racket and could not put away the sitting uh, forehand. Beautiful volley from Lisa Huber. Puts herself in a nice high traffic area around the net and forces her opponent to go around her, over her. Instead, there's Huber with the nice stick volley. The mini break turned back. King's going to serve once more. Key is Svetova at the net. Does she break right or left to try to intercept the return? Well, just on the threat of the move, Liesl Huber, with all that experience, number one player in the world, pulls it a little bit wide, and all of a sudden, the boxes from both players are as involved as the players. Hit on the return. She's into the sun, too. You notice how she checked the sun for her toss. No mistake there, whether she was thinking about that championship point or she let the sitter go. You notice right away that this team right here, Petrova and Huber, they're the better team. 
They're putting themselves in the right position. They're attacking. It's the other team that emotionally is riding this wave, riding the wave of the Wimbledon win, riding the wave of saving a match point. team, but emotionally playing Three, more two, positive two, around the net, sticking their balls when it really counts. So look at the smile on Vanya King's face as they approach this. They're not the better players, but as a team, they have so much momentum and tempo on their side, and they're enjoying this pressure moment. And enjoying the confidence of coming out here at Love 15 to have to get that hold to make it five all, and it they twice. responded. And at 5-6. Exactly. Sveto did the same thing. Don't forget saving a championship point already. So they are riding a firm wave, as you said, as they serve at 3-2. It's Yaroslava Shvedova. This is the first to seven to win by two. Little yips on the toss. Wow, only 79 miles an hour, but she gets it in. She executes it. And Petrova's waiting for a bigger serve. Shvedova can really hit the serve hard. Emotionally charged team of King and Shvedova will switch ends with Uber and Petrova. Leading 4 2 with still another serve on Shvedova's racket. And Uber went right back to Petrova. Said, Race, forget about it. Let's go. We can get back in this. Well, this is the point. If they go down 5 2, it, it, it could be over. If Huber and Petrova can win this point, you just stay right in striking distance with them. You cannot give King and Shvedova this cushion at 5 2. The, a defining point right here for the U.S. Open Championship. Petrova comes up large. She had to take an overhead and reflex volley it back. She had to take another shot and get it back with a lot. But look at this. This thing is off her shoelaces. That, that's basically the tournament right there. We've seen now both teams kind of facing, really, the tournament, looking at a loss. And they come up with big shots. And Petrova with the opportunity to serve now to make it four all and perhaps put themselves out in front after what was a difficult start to this tie break. That'll do a lot for her confidence, which has ebbed and flowed going back to yesterday and the start of today. Look at Huber at the net. That's going to be the key factor on this point. Look at her right around the net for Petrova, trying to intercept anything she can. Oh, King just <laughs> dials up the forehand. Wow. Huber guessed right, King but it was to the right side, the wrong place the ball was going. But that's a calculated move. You know that Liesl Huber, who just poached on the last one, just crossed, is going to be leaning to the middle, trying to intercept. And look at this. King showing a beautiful forehand return. And now the emotion. Now it's King serving, which is their best set. This is their best formation. King putting the ball in play. Savetova around the net with her long reach. And remember, King saved a match point by hitting a big shot down the line past Huber. Exactly what you just spoke of, Luke. There is set of a four, coaching at the two, net. It's a good push down the middle, and it sets up championship point for King and Shvedova. Well, again, look at the way Shvedova gets up to the net, uses her long arms, and just stabs it to the open court. So King to serve at championship point. They've already saved one, have the six seeds. Now their turn to see if they can make it back-to-back -back titles at majors. to earn a major title.
and earned it was. What an unbelievable point on championship point. Up and back, defense, offense. There was a wall at the net. There was defense playing play it, and finally to have the nerve to hit a topspin lob, the high roller package for the victory. And Vanya King, credit to both, but Vanya King stepping up huge with a tremendous effort, playing back on the wicked spin of the ball at the baseline and then coming forward. This is the number six seed beating the number one seed. This is a rain delayed match, and if you've got, I'm sorry, the number two seed, and the way they came about playing the pressure points. They did not basically slide away. They stepped up to the challenge and played the difficult shots when they had to do it. Unbelievable way to finish off the women's doubles championship, and so it goes in 2010. Only four women win women's doubles titles in this year at major events. Serena and Venus won the Australian and Roland Garros, and now Vanya King and Yaroslava Shvedova win Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. They, they did it with great chemistry, great teamwork, and I really believe the way that Vanya King walked on the court with her partner and starts smiling and said, you know what? Is there anywhere else you want to be? This is it. This is the U.S. Open title. We've won Wimbledon. Let's do it again. And she definitely responded. Remember serving Love 15 at 4-5 against the championship point. They had smiles. They bounded out of the chair to get the match underway again today. Everything seemed to bode well for their chemistry. And Uber and Petrova, perhaps they felt the pressure of the moment a bit more than the six seeds. And so let's go down to the court for the ceremony. Once again, the Masters Ceremonies is Mary Jo Fernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, how about the exciting finish of the women's doubles final? I'd like to uh, invite the finalists to come forward, Nadia and Liesel. You haven't been playing much together and you get all the way to the final. Still pretty happy with your performance. Definitely happy. It's been a fun journey. We've beaten some decent uh, uh, teams and uh, it's just an amazing to be uh, playing out here in the biggest stadium in the world and just, you know, have uh, our team supporting for us and having the crown behind us is just a great feeling. And Liesl, you've had a great couple of weeks winning the mixed doubles with Bob Bryan and now uh, the finals today with Nadia. Yeah, you know, in a sport like this or anything in life when you guys go to work, I don't know why you guys aren't at work today. <laughs> um, when we return to our normal lives tomorrow, we're going to have ups and downs and it's kind of like today, I guess, could be an up for us or a down how we look at it and it's... Uh, it's really a challenge for us. This is going to be a challenge, and the next time we're going to play a team like this, we're going to learn from today's challenge. So I want to let you guys know um, ups and downs in this type of day, in this world that we're doing today, and the you know, adversity that we are in. Let's learn from it like we're going to learn from this match. But I want to congratulate great opponents today. And now on behalf of the USTA, Vice President Dave Haggerty will present the finalist. Liesl and Nadia with her trophy. And now our champions, please step forward. Yaroslava, Vanya. You guys haven't been playing together either, but now you have a Wimbledon title and a US Open title. Pretty good way to celebrate your birthday from yesterday, Yaroslava. Yeah, I was preparing my speech for yesterday because I had a birthday yesterday. And I want to thank you, Vanya, so much for this incredible two weeks in one day. So thank you, Vanya. <laughs> and I want to thank you, my parents, like, because if it wasn't them, I would never exist. So thank you for them, my mom and pop. I love you. <laughs> and. Um, also, uh, to my coach, Oliver, and uh, coach of Vanya, uh, Irvin, and our team from the box. <laughs> Thank you so much. You support us a lot today. Thank you. And, and um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, I want to... Uh, Thank you, the girls. It was incredible match. It was long. Yeah, it was a lot of fun yesterday and today. And uh, thank you all you saw on uh, because it was uh, raining yesterday, so everyone have to come back and do it again. Thank you.
Well said. And Vanya, <laughs> tough to come out. You know, you're down 5-4. What was it like to have to play so hard so quickly? Well, I was a bit nervous because I was serving, and usually I have Slava serve to start the match. So, and I was also down a point on my serve. I was just hoping, you know, no double faults and put the first serve in and hopefully I don't lose my service game. Uh, yeah, so it's, I'm shocked, I'm amazed. I'm so happy to win this with Lava again. She's such a good friend of mine. And after Wimbledon, we didn't know if we could do it again, but I think we proved to ourselves and to other people that we can. Terrific effort. And now please welcome Mark Huggins, Executive Director of Brand Marketing, Olympus Imaging America. On behalf of Olympus, I'm pleased to present this prize money check to you for $420,000. Congratulations on a great tournament and some amazing teamwork. Congratulations. One more thing from Vanya. I can't let go of the mic. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to thank Slava as well for playing with me for an incredible two weeks. Congratulations to Nadia and Liesl. Anything could have happened today, and I hope we have many more matches in the future, hopefully in the finals as well. I want to thank my team, my family, my coaches. I want to say two years ago that I didn't know if I wanted to play tennis anymore, and I don't think I believed in myself, and I don't think anybody believed in me. But because of my team and because of my family, thank you, Erwin, and thanks to my family and to Tariq, who's not here that it's an incredible turnaround for me to be here right now. Thank you. Congratulations. And now again on behalf of the USCA, Dave Haggerty will present the champions with their trophy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2010 Women's US Open doubles champions, Vanya King and Yaroslava Shvedova. What an amazing match. Down a match point, having to go three sets into a tiebreaker. The ultimate test of nerves in a Grand Slam championship. The women's doubles champions, Shvedova and King win in an amazing tiebreaker. In the course of two days, three sets, 2-6, 6-4, 7-6. In about 26 minutes, you will see the men's final with me and Tim Ryan. So until then, so long from New York.